Welcome to Breaking Bond. Amen. Uh, we'd like to thank the Mary and Martha Circle for our food tonight. It was delicious. Uh, my name's Micah, and I'm a, a new creation of God. <laughs> and I'll open this up in prayer. Hey, Lord, I just want to thank you for this crowd tonight and uh, just bringing us all here safely. I'd like to ask you to Stand with my brother Cody tonight as he runs through his graduation and goes on to his next, next step in life. And to uh, please be with everyone on their way home for church tonight. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Ryan Boswell, please silence your phone. <laughs> Hey, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to laugh. Hey, it's okay to laugh sometimes, and it's okay to pick on Ryan sometimes, isn't it? I sure hope so. If not, I'm doomed. Hey, stand to your feet, and let's worship. Let's shout from the rooftops tonight that Jesus is our King, and He is our Lord, and He is all we will ever need.
won't forget the wonder of how you brought deliverance. It's the exodus of my heart. You found me. You freed me. Held back the waters for my release.
tonight we're going to do a university graduation tonight so I'll give it over to Ann. Hi we need Zach and Andrew. Well, breaking, breaking Bonds University is 24 weeks of two days a week, four classes a week, a lot of stuff, and it's a lot of work, but you have completed it. <laughs> Congratulations. Andrew? Yeah, yeah. Zach? Congratulations. Congratulations. And we thank all the teachers who put in the hours to make this happen, but you all have done a great job. Proud of you. Yeah. Hey, let's give it up for Ann, our dean of the Breaking Bonds University. Yeah. <clears throat> So, I guess we're going to, I guess, I guess since your mom came all this way, Cody, we'll go ahead and graduate you tonight. So, let's, uh, let's watch this video here.
the world is sound asleep and too afraid of what might show up while you're dreaming. Nobody, nobody, nobody sees you. Nobody, nobody will believe you. And every day you try to pick up all the pieces, all the memories they somehow never leave you. Nobody, nobody, nobody sees you. Nobody, nobody will believe you. God only knows what you've been through. God only knows what they say about you. God only knows how it's killing you. But there's a kind of love that God only knows. God only knows what you've been through. God only knows what they say about you. But God only knows the real you. There's a kind of love that. Single secret So afraid if someone saw them they would leave But somebody, somebody, somebody sees you Somebody, somebody will never leave you God only knows what you've been through God only knows what they say about you God only knows how it's killing you But there's a kind of love that God only knows God only knows what you've been through It's a big difference up there, isn't there? I, uh, I'm so proud of you. Uh, that's not even the same person. Man, you, you become a great friend. Uh, I'm, I'm sad at the same time because you're going on the western side of the state. But uh, I give you my phone number, my address. Uh, the most important thing is don't ever take your eyes off Jesus. You'll be fine. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Well, Cody, um, I, was, I was privileged enough to be here when you first got into the ministry. We was roommates down in the basement. This man, would, you couldn't even say a word for three or four days, and now he just can't shut up. 
You know, but I mean, he keeps us laughing. He keeps us smiling. And I, the growth, I'm proud of you. I can't wait to see what happens next. You got my phone number. Call me. I love you, brother. Congratulations. Cody, um, we've had a lot of good talks. You know, uh, spent a lot of time together talking. And uh, congrats. Proud of you, buddy. You got this. Cody, man, it's finally here. We've been waiting for this for so long, man. You've done so great. I'm so proud of you. Listen, all you got to do is the right thing. Do everything right. Do what you're supposed to do, man. And God provides this. The fruits of this ministry is so awesome. It's, it's unbelievable. But you know what to do. Come back. See us. Stay plugged in. You're, you'll have my phone number, man. I love you. I could talk about the golf course all night, but we're not going to do that. But, man, just I'm so proud of you, man. Congratulations. Cody. I'm glad we're getting to sit on this stage and talk, man. I knew we would. Uh, since we've worked together at Napa, you've made a huge transformation. I know you've got enough of the Holy Spirit in you, man, to do what's right. You're a hard worker. Come home today, and he's mowing the yard. I mean, he's just he's a hard worker. That's what he does. But look behind you, brother. That's what you work for, man. I'm proud of you. I love you. Cody, uh... Man, I just, I want to admire you for what you're fixing to do, and it, it doesn't need to go unnoticed. I know that, that you got uh, you got to face something head on, man, and instead of backing out, you're going to do it. And um, a lot of people can look at that, and, and you know, that's a good, good example of what God wants us to do. He doesn't want us to, you know, to not do what he wants us to do. And by, by doing what you're about to do, you know, going where you're going to go, man, it's just, I admire that because that takes courage, man, so... Just keep your head up and stay in your word, and everything's going to be all right. I love you, dude. Cody, man, you've been, been one of my best friends I've ever had, dude, and I, I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss them long, them long van rides in Fredericktown, read, reading in the back of the van, irritating everybody with the light. Oh, you know, I'm going to miss some hilarious conversations we have when nobody's around, thank God. And, uh, <laughs> and I, man, dude, I just can't imagine this place without you. The, the, the pond's going to miss you, brother. I'm going to miss you. Gotcha, you. You've been a blessing while I've been here, man. You just... Keep everybody laughing, you know what I mean? And I always look forward to hearing you talk about God in class. So you're just so much knowledge of it, you know what I mean? I'm proud of you. Cody, we didn't start our Breaking Bonds thing off together very well, did we? But man, it could not be more fitting, though, to have you graduate. Man, I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Mr. Cody, I'm proud of you. This is a big accomplishment. Um, I just want to say I'm happy to have you as a friend, Lord, and just um, keep your mind clear, you know, stay out of the garbage, and you're going to be great. It's great to see your family back there. Um, makes my heart feel good, yeah, <laughs> you know, and um, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Cody, Cody. So the past, what, three weeks, I've had the privilege to, to move upstairs and bunk with this man. Uh, this man's got so much knowledge, and it's, it's undescribable, man. You, you're, you're really smart. And it'd be a shame if you wouldn't take that back to where you're, the western side of the state and, and use that and spread the gospel like it says in the Bible to do. And I'm, I'm very proud of you, dog, and congratulations. I love you. Cody, you know I love you, brother. I remember when you first got here, uh, man, you was just so broken. I remember how broken you was, man. And, uh, man, I love you, brother. It's, uh, I hate to see you go, but I know you're going to do good, man. I just, I love you, bro.
Well, Cody, uh, I'm proud of you, man. Uh, I know uh, when I first got here uh, a few months back, uh, I had a few rough days, and uh, I know you are you like to joke around and all that and, uh, and, and be loud and crazy a lot of times and keep everybody smiling and laughing, but uh, when I had them rough days, uh, you could see it in me, and you come up and would ask me what's wrong and, and hug on me and love on me, man. And I know you got a big heart. You're a smart guy. You read all the time. You retain the word well. Uh, just keep your focus on God, man, and uh, come back and see us. You got my contact information, man, right? Give me a ring if you ever need anything, man. Just get a hold of me. Love you, man. Oh, Cody. It's been seven days, brother. I got to know you. You took me underneath your wing. I love you, dude. And you got this. What's up, man? You got me up here, huh? <laughs> but uh, I want to say congratulations, dude. You're young. I wish I would have got this back when I was younger. But hey, I'm getting it now. I'm doing good. But man, I appreciate everything you've done for me. Especially an hour ago, man, we sit outside and talk to me, dude. It means a lot, man. Take the knowledge, what you mean, and, and do right, man. You got a family behind you, bro. I love you. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> no, but when I got here, I didn't know what to think about you. You know what I mean? I, and I think that's everybody. But uh, getting to know you, I, I, I know you got a good heart and it's in the right place, man. And uh, I'm going to miss your stories. You want me to share one? <laughs> I better not. Uh, They're long. <laughs> Cody, Cody, Cody. I'm definitely going to say congratulations. I'm going to miss your crazy stories. and. You know, you stay in the word, and I guarantee anything you do is going to blow our hair back. I love you. Hey, Cody. It's only been a, a week, man, but uh, I've got the privilege to, to work with you and uh, move some beds. They're really heavy. <laughs> and, uh, but, man, I, I like to listen to you speak. You know, you're funny. You're charismatic, and... Uh, um, what I'm going to leave you with, man, just uh, love the Lord God with all your mind and all your heart and your soul. And uh, he'll carry you wherever you go. Love you, buddy. Cody, man, I'm going to miss you, dude. From the conversations at night to the conversations on the couch late night, man, you were just the realest person I've ever met. One of the funniest dudes I've ever met. Even down to the, you want a piece of candy, make you? <laughs> I love you, dude. You're the best, man. Like, you just always had a way of making me smile and making me laugh. You know, keep your head in your Bible. Keep your head up. I'm going to miss you, man. <laughs> well, Cody, I didn't get to know you as well as some of the others did. But I, got, I can say that you definitely made me laugh plenty of times when I wasn't in the mood to laugh. Definitely wasn't in the mood to laugh. And we've only really sat down and had one good talk, and that was the first week I was here. And like some other people said, I think you're a smart man. And we talked about life and how to do it and how not to do it. And I think you got it, dude, if you keep keep doing what you're doing. You seem like you got your head on right, man. Congratulations, dude. What's up, Cody? Man, I just, I thought it was amazing how many people stood over here, you know, waiting their turn to, to say something. You've impacted so many lives, and that's just a portion of the lives that you're going to affect. You know, you got some trials coming up, but I, I think, I really think that you got it. Keep God by your side always. Say your prayers. Get it, stay in your Bible. And just keep on being a disciple like you've done at the house. You're a great leader. I think you're going to, I think you got this. You're going to go far, and I love you, brother. Well, you made it, buddy. Um, so I just want to kind of go back on uh, what, what Tom said. Uh, dude, 
I really respect you for your going back home and you're handling a problem head on that, that most people run from. And uh, that's what a real man does. Someone someone told me that to me a while back and, and I didn't really know it, but I, I respect you for doing that. And, and dude, uh, you, you make so many of us laugh, for real. I'm gonna miss all those, those crazy times watching movies and just having goofy conversations. Um, there was never a dull moment around you, you know, and uh, I just, I don't think anybody else has the guts to just run up behind me and put me in a full Nelson like you did, you know. <laughs> but uh, we're all going to miss you, buddy. And just uh, just remember, you got us, you got this church, and you have an awesome family that came all the way down here for you. So stay in God's word, brother, and walk the walk and make disciples. And just know that we're here backing you, and you always got us, man. I love you. What's up, bro? <laughs> this stage is treacherous. Uh, but hey, so you're an awesome dude, bro. Uh, when I first got here, you really, you really helped me feel welcome here. You guided me. You uh, kind of showed me where to put my feet so I didn't trip. You know what I mean, so to speak. Hey, um, I know you're gonna do awesome. The Lord's gonna give you strength in your next season, bro. You know, and uh, when you get out, you know, I pray He just blesses you immensely. I'm gonna miss your character. I miss, you know, the time, you know, uh, your, uh, that's what I'm looking for, your humor, you know what I mean, making us all laugh, bro, you, you know, you got a good spirit about you, definitely gonna miss you, and love you. Man, God has saved you. Ever since I met you, you were the best. That's right. Amen. You want to talk? You want to say something? Come on, over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, over here. You, yeah. you over there. Me? No, wait, well, don't matter. There you go. There you go. Cody, I didn't know how bad things were. And I didn't know up until, oh, about three weeks ago when that picture was sent to me. And I had to run out of work. <laughs> and I... I bawled, but the picture above it said everything, and the man who stands before me today is just like the boy I lost when he was 12 years old, and it does my heart so good to have him back, and I know it was because of God and because of breaking bonds, and there's... I cannot even begin to repay everybody. And I'm so proud of how far you've come. And I know you're going to be a beacon of light to a lot of people. A lot of people that we love. And I'm so proud of you and I can't wait to see what what's next for you. But I know whatever it is, you're going to accomplish it. And you're going to you're just you're going to beat it down. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you. Do you, do you, want, to say you want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> Cody, man, we've had a long road ahead behind us, man. I love you more than life itself. I really do. And I'm so proud of where you, where you are now versus where you've been, even beside me, where we've been. You know what I mean? Man, I just hope I can be the man you are. One day I will. How long of a drive was it? Five and a half hours. They showed up for you. That's time for you to show up for them. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. Right? You know what drives me? You know what drives me every day? It's seeing this. Death to life. See that person on the left? 
I'm dead. The person on the right is alive, right? In Psalms 119, 123, joyful. Says the one on the right, joyful. Joyful are people of integrity. So the one on the left don't have any integrity. The one on the right does. People of integrity who follow the instructors of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts. You're, you're going to continue to search for him. Even though he ha you have him, you're going to continue to search for him, right? They do not compromise with evil, and they walk only in his paths. I'm proud of you, Cody. I'm proud of you. Right? There's going to be a lot of struggles, right? Life ain't got, gotten any easier since you was out there, right? But you have the tools now. It's up to you. God, right? God gives us free will. He'll give us the desires of, his, of, of your heart. What's the desires of your heart, right? And I believe the desires of your heart is to follow him, right? And, and, and to sow into others, right? He does have some battles coming up. He does have some things he's got to go face from his past. But now you have the tools, just like we talked this morning. You can be a mighty man of God. And like I told him this morning, just because you're five hours away, don't, don't think we ain't going to know what's going on with you. We know people <laughs> over there. I, we know people, right? And, and it, that's just how it works. We know when people are walking it out. All right? So this diploma is proudly awarded to Cody Williford on November 19, 2024, for successfully completing all requirements of the Breaking Bonds Residential Recovery Program. Everyone, Cody. You want a speech, that's what you want? <laughs> so, it's crazy that this day is here, it's almost unreal. Uh, it, the, where I've been, breaking bonds, this church, the people I've come to know, uh, it truly felt like um, a home, it really did. Uh, you get, so it, it get, everybody that's involved with breaking bonds makes it so easy to forget that you ever have to leave. That's honest. Uh, the amount of love and support and uh, just, and every, I mean, everything in between that you get being here is endless, completely endless. Uh, God has brought me here and he has blessed me with recovery, with a new mindset, He's taken away my addictions, and he has put in me just a whole nother, a whole nother view of life. It's like the old life I was living, that's dead, and this is the new life. He's brought my family from so far away to come and see me tonight and graduate, and that's more than I could ever ask for. Uh, most of all, I want to say that uh, if it wasn't for all of the brothers that I have in this ministry, if it wasn't for the continuing and endless love of God, I would. there's no way I would have made it this far. I'd like to thank Sean Embry. He's probably, hey, listen. Hey, this dude, he all, hey, if I could ask him for something, and he got, he, he, he had me. He got me with mouthwash, toothpaste, He's helped me out with something to drink, like, and I never really had much coming in. So he, and he knew that I needed it to be comfortable to further, you know what I mean? But at the same time, <laughs> he wasn't afraid to make it uncomfortable, <laughs> all right? At the, same, at the very same time, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, one time I was on his bad side, and I made sure to never be on that side again. Uh, but it was, it was really to just keep me on my toes and uh, to keep pointing me in the right direction, to take this seriously, and it's not a joke. Uh, he, um, he just, he really made it happen. Uh, a lot of people just, I mean, that's the guy to go to. 
you know if you need something. A lot of you guys know if you need something. That's him. Uh, I want to thank Richie Riley. There he is. I like to thank Richie Riley. He, you know, he always kept me in a good mood. Uh, a lot of back and forth banter. Put your hands on something. Why isn't the bathroom done? You know what I mean? He, he'll go in there crawling on his hands and knees on the floor, making sure it's clean, which is weird, but it's all right. <laughs> it's his job. It's his job. Yeah. Mostly, um, Ryan and Julie, thank you for accepting me into this program that has completely changed my life. You know, uh, you guys could have just easily just let me walk out of that room, nowhere to go, but you didn't. You brought me in, and... Uh, and I can't thank you enough. It's been the life-changing experience that I needed. And um, I'm just going to continue to do God's work, follow in those footsteps, be as close and like Jesus as I can be. And uh, just God bless every single one of you in this church. You've all made it extremely, uh, I don't want to say, I want to stop saying comfortable. <laughs> but you've made it very easy and welcoming. Thank you. So I know last week in, in uh, Austin's graduation, Cody had mentioned about uh, they work out at the golf course, and he mentioned about throwing some weed eaters. I'm going to need you to settle up with Mike Buck before you leave because he's trying to charge me for them weed eaters, so that ain't got nothing to do with me. Um, all right. <clears throat> Legend Jocelyn, come on up. Give it up for Legend. He's going to give us a little word. Congratulations, Cody. Uh, I remember when I was in your place. There's no better feeling in the world uh, than graduating from here. You know, it's the biggest accomplishment that you ever have. Tonight, I'm gonna. I want to talk about uh, you guys and Cody. It's for you. You know, there's uh, there's things that happen at breaking bonds that. First, you don't understand them. It takes a while to, to understand fully what a guy's been through when he's, when he's been, been through a program like this. You guys, too. You know, you're, uh, you're fixing to do the same thing. And this one I've come up with is it's a, a baptism in St. Matthew chapter 20, verse 22. But Jesus answered and said, You know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They said, we are able. It says the same thing in Mark, the same exact words. There's not a whole lot of verses in the gospel that match up word for word, but that does. This is what I believe that he meant. Uh, it's the Holy Spirit that makes the difference. When you, when you are baptized, the, the root word of... Uh, baptism, baptismo, it's Greek, and what it meant was, it was actually, it was talking about um, dying clothes, that's where the word came from, and it meant, of course, to be, you had to be completely submersed, the clothing did, to get dyed completely, that's where the word comes from, and baptism is a submersion, and what we get at Breaking Bonds is a submersion, we, we are submersed in the Holy Spirit, and that is the key. Because I have looked, and I have watched, and I have I stay in touch with all the guys that, that are willing to stay in touch with me. And some fall, and some don't. And whether you agree or not, I'm going to give you my opinion on why some of it happens. Maybe we can avoid some of it. And this, this is why I think that it happens. Because... In order to be submersed completely, that means that you have to have everything else taken away from you. Now, Ryan and Julie do a great job of making sure that we are not affected by the outside world. But we need our families, right? We need our families to be behind us. The, the important part is we need, we need the right people 
behind us. So a bit of advice, guys. If you have somebody out there who is not behind you 100%, you might want to leave it at the door. This is your time to be submersed in, in the Holy Spirit. If you will submerse yourself in the Holy Spirit, you will get the good things that God wants you to get. And Cody, the way we keep what God gives us is to stay submersed in the Holy Spirit. Wherever you go, I don't know what you're going to do right now, but wherever you go, whether it's a jail or whether it's a house that you don't know anybody at, you can stay submersed in the Holy Spirit by continuing in prayer, by reading your Bible, and not just reading your Bible. Submerse yourself in it. Some people read the Bible and some people read the Word, but they don't hear the Word. They don't dig into the Word. And, and what, are you, what are you saying to me? God, will you tell me what you're saying to me today through this Bible? Will you, will you speak to me? Will you tell me things that I don't know right now? He will. He will. But not while you got one foot over here, he won't, because you can't hear him. The Holy Spirit is present in you once you ask him to come inside of you, all right? He stays that way by, by staying with him. I made a mistake the other day. Some of you will laugh, but this is not funny. This is how I know that I have continued to stay submersed in the Holy Spirit. I've been uh, gone from breaking bonds for over a year, for well over a year now. Has it been easy? No. But there ain't been nothing so hard that if we couldn't get it done and done well because I stayed, I kept that spirit close to me, all right? I'm, I'm outside, uh, we got a dog. We don't have dogs. My wife wanted a dog. I, I said, we don't need dogs. We have a very small cabin, but so we started feeding the strays, you know, whatever works. They need a home too. Well, we have three strays at our house and... This is three days ago, four days ago. And uh, another dog come up. One of the strays were in heat, and another dog come up. And I seen that he had mange, and I seen that he had fleas. He was scratching. Nice dog, big poodle. And uh, I tell Kim, I said, Kim, we can't have this dog around here. Even though we feed strays, we don't need him to have fleas. We don't need him to have, get our other dog pregnant, you know, and mange is going to spread. So I go to my neighbor and my good friend, and I say, hey, you got a BB gun? He's like, sure. So I get that puppy, and I pump it up about 15 times, and it's about 5.30 in the morning, and I know this dog is in that dog house with the female dog. So I go out there in my pajama pants, and I, I tap on the, the, the dog house with this gun, and the female comes out. I tap on it again, and this male poodle comes out, and I take aim at about five feet from me, I shoot this dog in the butt. Immediately, I know I've made a grave error. A grave error. Now, listen, people, I'm going to tell you something. I've been shot at. I've been stabbed. I've been in night fights. I've been in jails. I've been in prison six times. I've served 10 years of my life behind bars. I've probably been in 100 fights in my life. I've never seen a fight that I wanted to back away from, all right? But when I shot that dog, I grieved the Holy Spirit. Something inside of me, something inside of me broke for that dog. And God told me, he said, he said, man, you had mange. And you had fleas. Nobody shot you. He said, I took you in. And we all had mange and we all had fleas. And we were taken in, you know. You keep that spirit in you, fellas, and you never forget that at one time, nobody wanted us around. At one time, the devil was even done with us. He said, I did my part with him. I'm done. I don't need, to be, I don't need them guys anymore. They're done. As well. We're at the bottom. We're at the rock bottom. I've done my job. And then Jesus looked down. And he said, hey, you know that one with the mange, that one with the fleas, that one nobody wants to feed? Give me that one. That's the one I want. Bring him to me. Let me love on him. Let him hear my word. Let me save him. 
And then he's going to do mighty, mighty things for me. That's that Holy Spirit, fellas. That is that Holy Spirit. It, is, it was there in the beginning. The Word was there in the beginning. He spoke in existence the universe with the Word. The Word, this is not the Word. This is the Bible. It points towards the Word. The Word is Jesus Christ. Remember that, all right? I love you guys, and, and I don't want nothing other than for you to get what I got. I want you to feel the Holy Spirit inside of you because he'll direct you to the good things in life and he'll keep you from the bad things in life but you have to keep that immersion get immersed right now get the other get that foot off the door get it off the street don't worry about the girlfriend don't worry about the mom don't worry about the dad don't worry about the kids right now because it's it's for you to do and if you will do it right they will benefit from it if you don't do it right, they won't benefit. If you're going to help anybody, you have to help your, you have to love yourself enough to help yourself. And let these people help you. This church, New McKendry Church, God bless all of you. I got a text from Cody Ezell this morning. He was quoting Mike Rushing. And I said, praise God. He said, you know, if you want something different, you got to do something different. And I said, it's, it's good that Mike is still being remembered and still being shared I said, I'm going to tell him that tonight because I'm going to speak at New McKendry. Cody Zell's doing well. He's working in a youth ministry. You know, he's working with kids. That's outstanding. Uh, that's all I have to share with you tonight, guys. It, it is, in, but it's enough. Believe me. Immerse yourself. Leave the outside world alone. This is not their time. This is your time. These people right here in this church, Ryan, Julie, your brothers, they will immerse you. You just have to let it. In, in Isaiah 53, God says, I will work. Who will let it? Just let it. All you have to do is stand. I love y'all. Boy, that was a word straight from the Lord. And many of you know exactly what I mean because you felt it. And I feel compelled to say that legend standing up here preaching that word, he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what y'all's story is. He doesn't know. We never shared any of that with him, but I know he had a word for many of us tonight, and we all benefited from that. So thank you for that, legend. I can remember the day that Cody came in and the weeks leading up to him coming in. I can say with all honesty, he was as broken as I've ever seen. He was as broken of a young man as I have ever seen. And I chased him down, <laughs> kind of, really for real, but nothing near like what God chased him down. And I'm so thankful that God saw fit to pull him and me and many of us up out of that pit that we were drowning in because he just loves us that much. Because he sees something in us that we cannot see in ourselves. He chooses us because he loves us. He wants that. He wants that same transformation as what Cody has experienced. He has truly experienced. He has had an Ephesians 4 experience. He has put off the old man and he has put on the new. And he wants that for every single one of us here tonight because he loves us so much.
it up for Jesus. Give it up for Cody one more time. Give it up for Legend. Great message, Legend. We're, we're going through some things, and you hit the spot right there. That was the yep. Spirit. That was the Holy Spirit. So this is my little niece. This is Blakely. And right over there is her mom, my sister, Kylie. She graduated Lifesavers Ministry this last Sunday. Uh, we're so proud of her. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that she can now be the mom that she was created to be. Right. She can be the daughter. She can be the sister, right? Amen. And she's going to do exactly what she learned in Lifesavers, right? And I'm so thankful. What do you think about it? Amen? So, hey, uh, we've got some big plans this Thursday. So, this Thursday at New Life Recovery, if you don't know what New Life Recovery is, just come and talk to us about it. So this is, uh, this is our recovery uh, Thanksgiving dinner we're having at 6 o'clock, and we're going to worship at 7. We're going to raise money for Plum Ministries. Plum Ministries is right here. So they are a brand-new ministry, and they're just starting, and they need some money. It takes money to run these ministries. So we're going to have a little bit of fundraiser that night, and hopefully we'll, you know, whatever God uh, puts uh, on people's heart, we're going we're gonna to raise some money and give that to them. And, um, and help open the doors for other future ref residents to come in, right? Come and join us. Come and join us. I know that's a little bit of a drive for some of you, but it'll be so well worth it. Hey, we do it every day. Yeah, we do it every day. It ain't that bad. <laughs> ain't nothing to do a little driving. We're, we're an hour from everywhere. We're 30 we minutes from a gallon of milk. if we have to. So, amen. Hey, how about this praise and worship band? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be headlining Thursday night, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Did you all have a good time tonight? So next week, yeah, next week, come back, and we're going to do another graduation. Zachariah is going to graduate. Yeah. We're going to graduate Zachariah. Right? We're, we're doing a lot of graduations here, so that means, uh, that means, means this ministry is changing. It's always always evolving it's always changing people out people new people in uh we need your support we need you to continue to pray for us pray for all these residents man we got an amazing group and i'm so thankful for these residents i'm thankful i'm thankful for for the, the leaders i'm thankful for sean and richie for stepping up man they just uh, they are amazing leaders in this ministry and i'm thankful for the leaders yet to come right i'm thankful i'm thankful for this ministry i'm thankful for family I'm thankful. I'm thankful I'm no longer in the pit of despair Amen. that I used to be in. Yes. That I don't have to live that life no more. I'm thankful that I get to see people brought from death to life like Cody. Yes. Amen. Man, he was bad. He was bad. But, but he's a child of the most yes. high king tonight. Amen. Right? And he's going to continue to do that. Amen. Everybody good? All right. Tom, come here and pray us out. Come back. We love you all. <clears throat> Lord God, we thank you for being so gracious to us, Lord, and we thank you for this place where we can gather in your name, God. We thank you for Cody and for his obedience, Lord. I pray that you would watch over him, God, and, and may your spirit be unmistakably clear in his mind as he goes throughout this next season of his life, God. I pray that you would get everybody home safely, Lord, and we thank you. We pray that you would be with us uh, and just anoint anybody who comes to the Thanksgiving thing and help us to raise money for Plum Ministries, God. We, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.